All right, we're wrapping up uh, one of the 2022 race bikes for the season. Uh, we've had a couple people ask how to check your chain tension. So we will do that now in the video here. This one from the factory is a little tight, but keep in mind as you ride it, it will do like an initial stretch, but we want it to be right. And especially because we're doing a video on it. We also have a little pro tip here at the shop um, where we want to flip this little spacer that's in this rear um, chain guide. Because right now you can see with his being so far forward, it's pushed this sprocket up into it and it's really, it's sitting right on it. If you look at one of our race bikes from last year, this is a 350, but I have the chain so far back because it's been stretched and used that it's not as aggressive of a angle coming out of there. So what we'll do is this one's a little tight. We want about an inch and a quarter. We don't have that right now. So we're going to adjust this uh, forward and that'll even make this worse. So we'll show you now how to flip this little spacer. So we push this little spacer um, out of the back and you can see it's got the little uh, tabs on it so you can't pull it out from the front. So now we're just gonna flip it so it's up in there. And to do that, we had to loosen the front chain guide bolt as well to let the whole chain guide uh, come down. And so now what we're gonna do is just weasel that back in there and we'll slide it up. And that is so much nicer. It's not going to wear the heck out of the chain right away. Because like I said, we got to pull this even farther forward yet until this chain has its initial stretch. So we'll tighten both of these back up and now it's so much more room. It's not going to not going to wear out. All right, so we've got our bolts retightened here. And with that actually doing that, it gives us a little bit more free play on the chain, but we still need to adjust this. So to properly adjust your chain, we've got the axle block here and we've got the chain tensioner bolts that screw into the swing arm. We usually never seize these. So if you ever have your wheel off, I would pull this bolt all the way out and never seize it. So to do that, first we got to loosen the nut on this side just a little bit. We don't want it totally flopping around. And we'll break the jam nut loose and then we'll pull these. We're going to go forward with this. So we're going to loosen the jam nut, push each one in a little bit, and then that'll give us our free play on the chain. Once we have it exactly where we want it, we'll show you how to retighten this properly. So what we do is we've we've uh, run these in a little bit to help get us more slack up on the front. What I like to do is I like to jam a wrench in here to suck the wheel up against both of these. So we just spun the wheel back with a with a wrench in there and that's keeping tension on this which is pushing it all the way forward. So now that that's forward we can snug up the axle on this side. And then once that's snugged we can come back out and we'll recheck our chain tension. And we're also going to make sure our wheel is, is uh, facing forward. So now we'll pick up the bike a little bit. So now we can recheck our chain tension and we want about an inch and a quarter. So we're ready to blow an inch there on the top mark. And we're, yeah, we're about right where it's exactly where it needs to be. So this is what beta's calling for tension on the chains. The last thing we can show you is how to make sure your wheel is somewhat true on the bike. We have a cool sag tool and on this tool it's machined out right here. Probably not the purpose for what we use it for, but it's pretty cool. So it's hard to tell on a GoPro, but the chain is in the front sprocket to the back sprocket. And when we're looking at this, you can kind of gauge by how much it's hard to tell, but I'm looking at the inside of the link here and I can see back here that it's, it's perfectly lined up all the way up through. If it was out of whack, right? So if the wheel was, was kinked, you know, toward the left, it would be faced out like that. And then if it was kinked into the right, it'd be pushed in that way. So. It's a great way to know if your wheel is somewhat true. Thanks for following along with our video. If you're looking for more beta tech videos, we just did a coolant hose video on this bike. We just did a race wire loom video on this bike. And all of our other race bikes, we've been picking away at some videos. Again, this is Jared at 3Cs Recreation. Feel free to subscribe. If you ever need beta parts, please call us. I offer discounts on everything that we sell. So give me a call or an email and look forward to working with you. Thanks.